Okay, time to hold this payload back. And there's a whole bunch of people that wants to oppose me. At least I got a reaper on my area. And that diva's trying to move around, and I'm getting hit at, so it's time to amp it up. And that diva just went bye-bye. And here comes all my friends, and oh dear, a lonely Reinhardt. He's going down. And, uh-oh, Farrah, get out of here. Let's review the Lucio, shall we? So, this is Lucio, 200 health, and he is also another support hero. So, out of all five, he's probably the most versatile of the bunch. But let's see why. His main weapon? Sonic Amplifier. It fires four round bursts, much like Genji's weapon, but instead of Genji firing three, he fires four instead. They fire about 20 damage on each shot, and you could do about five bursts due to the 20 rounds that are in it. Reloads are just as fine as the others, so you don't have to worry about that. But you do have to worry about the shot. They are pretty long, or pretty short in this part, so you do have to lean in order to have the best accuracy, especially when they're on the move. And yes, they do headshots as well. What about his other abilities? He has all sorts of abilities. So for one, we're going to be heading to his ult fire which is called, simply, Soundwave. Soundwave, what it does, it pretty much knocks back enemies and does about 25 damage in total. No headshots required. But the Soundwave is pretty large at around 8 meters. And you do need 4 rounds in order to fire. And it has a 4 second cooldown as well, which is pretty interesting. This is very useful for enemies that are pretty close to the cliffs on the map. So you could use that to easily knock them off the map if they don't have any flying abilities. And that can easily give you a nice environment kill. Or if they're in a nice group, you can easily use that amplifier or that sound wave and just take them out as well. And Mercy won't be able to resurrect them at that part. Lucio not only has an old fire and regular fire, he also has a passive ability called wall ride. Wall ride pretty much does what it says. You have the ability to jump on a wall and ride onto it, as said earlier. So what you could do, you could pretty much go into circles with this, or you can go into a whole bunch of scenarios that, or even places that you would need just to go into access to. But not like this. You can't really do it at this. And it has no cooldown, much like any other passive ability. But it's very useful if there's, if you want to take unorthodox shortcuts or that. But this perk or this ability is somewhat worthless. But if you need it in the right map, it can be pretty useful. Just depending on how many people have used Lucio. So, Lucio has two abilities. This one being truly unique, and it's a hybrid between speed and health. Crossfade, what it does. The speed form gives you 30% movement speed on yourself and on your friendlies. It also has a healing ability. It's the worst, but hey, it's worth it. It heals about 16 health a second on your friendlies and 12 health a second on yourself. And it has a 10 meter effect, so within that area you could heal and or give your speed onto your friendlies. And it has no cooldown whatsoever, so you can switch them however you like. So if your friendlies are in a rush and getting to the objective, you can use the speed movement and then you can quickly switch onto the health area so you can heal your friendlies into that too. The last ability really helps out with crossfade and it's called Amp It Up. Amp It Up increases your health and speed. For the health, you will do about 46 health a second on each teammate and 35 on yourself. And for your speed, you'll do about 70%, which is a lot faster. It lasts for a good old 3 seconds, and it does have a longer cooldown, at around 12 seconds. Very useful, but only given in certain situations. If your friendlies are all in low health, you can use Amp It Up to heal them very quickly. Or if they really want to get to objective faster, you could use the speed and just Amp It Up, and you can quickly get to your objective much faster. 
caught in a tight situation, this ultimate is pretty useful. And this one is called Sound Barrier. Sound Barrier is what you pretty much deploy a shield that has 500 health around your teammates within a 20 meter blast radius. And it lasts for good old 6 seconds. So if an ultimate is coming your way, like Diva Self Destruct Sequence, they can easily take in all that damage and they won't be and they'll be walking away a little injured, but they'll be alive. But your shield will pretty much be destroyed at that point. So be wiseful on using this ultimate, because it can really make or break the game. Well not break it literally. But without further ado, let's see how we can play as Lucio. Unlike the other heroes within the support category, he is the most versatile, and you do need to understand him very well in, in order to use him greatly. You have to be in 10 meters in order to feel his effects, especially when it comes to the speed or the healing effects. And at this point, may I advise that you stay in the back at all times, otherwise you're going to be a primary target. So speed up if you're being flanked or if ultimates are incoming and pay attention to the health on friendlies and use Amp It Up to heal them really quickly or if they're in a tight situation. Use speed first so you can easily get into the objectives or payloads much faster. And you can use Amp It Up too just to help out, but then again, you won't be able to have it in case they have something in mind. Lead your shots with a sonic amplifier and try not to go for headshots due to the very long, slow, shooting process of the amplifier, and you have to time well with the sound barriers when ultimates are incoming or when they're coming for insults. So it doesn't mean that if they're going to have one ultimate incoming, they could have others that are coming in too, so just try to be patient when using that barrier. So with that all aside, let's play as Lucio.
rounds up Lucio and the other heroes from Overwatch. Yeah, that's right. I pretty much did all of them. But don't worry, I'm going to be doing more until, well, there's going to be more people coming out, no doubt. So be sure to like, favorite, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff, and be sure to look at my Facebook page down below. While they're doing that, I'm going to be doing the World War II weapon guides, as in Call of Duty World War II, which is coming out on Friday. And also, be sure to look down the description, and you'll be able to get Sony Vegas for free. But be sure to read all the guidelines in that first. I won't be posting another video this well, next week because I'll be getting ready for the weapon guides and that, and I'll be doing recording and that. So, I'll see you, go, see you guys all in the following weekend. Galactic Storm saying, I'll see you guys later.